Hi everybody and welcome to Chelsea Groton Bank's Facebook video. My name is Miria Gray. I'm the Community Education Officer here at Chelsea Groton Bank and today we're going to be talking about some ways that you can take control of your finances now. Um, oftentimes when you hear about um, taking control of your finances or starting a budget or goal setting and things like that, some things take a long time, right? So saving money to reach a goal is a long-term plan. So today we're going to talk about some things that you can do right now that will help you with that goal setting and budgeting for the future. So the first thing that I would recommend is to read a book or check out some articles or watch a video. Our online e-learning platform is a great place to find all kinds of information about personal finance and it's free. So you can create an account and log in and mark your favorites and go back. There's videos and articles and infographics on most topics that are uh, personal finance related. So, or you could rent, get a book um, or find one online or an audio book and, and just kind of have somebody um, tell you a little bit about some things that maybe you don't know as much about. Um, the next one would be to start a budget. So um, starting a budget is pretty easy. We have done some videos on that. So if you need some more information, you can go back and check out one of our infor uh, informational videos on how to start a budget. You could do that this week. Being at home and having some extra downtime really gives us a chance to do these types of things. Cut the cable. So um, now you can decide if, if it's a really good time to cut the cable or if not, look and see what your family is doing. Are you watching cable every day or are you watching Hulu? Are you doing Netflix? Are you doing Amazon Prime? Are you doing Disney Plus? Where are people watching TV? If you're paying for cable every month and nobody's really watching cable, um, my kids don't watch any of the applications at all. They spend most of their day on YouTube watching videos or playing video games. So maybe being at home and really seeing where people are spending their time, this is a really good chance to decide whether you need cable at all. Um, so plan for eating out. So a lot of us uh, get busy, tired, we have things going on, and so we're ordering takeout, we're picking up takeout, or we're going out to eat. And um, that's fine, but you should account for that in your budget or spending plan. And one of the ways to do that is to put together a monthly meal plan. So just get a blank calendar, uh, fill it in with what you think that you might be doing, whether tonight's an eat out night, where that might be. But it will also really help you with your grocery budget because if you have a meal plan, you know exactly what meals you're gonna eat, you know what groceries that you need. Um, and it will help you with meal prep. So if you um, have your meal plan and you know that you know Tuesday and Wednesday are gonna be crazy this week, and that, you know, you, you can meal prep on Sunday for those days, get things done in advance and packaged up so that pulling out those meals are really very simple. And then on the nights that you're scheduled to eat out, those are the nights that you're scheduled to eat out and you're not constantly blowing your budget for takeout. Um, start saving. So that's a really good way to begin to take control of your finances. We just talked the other day about automating your saving. And so I would recommend doing that because that makes you breathe a little bit better. It makes you feel better that you're able to put away a little bit of money every week. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be $5. It can be $20 in every paycheck. But you'll feel better if you know that there is money accruing in a savings account somewhere. Um, try a spending fast. So this is a lot easier right now than it is if we're at work and, and on the go all the time. A spending fast is just when you think about a day or a week that you're not going to spend any extra money. So that you're not going to stop and get Dunkin Donuts, that you're not making that extra tri trip to the grocery store, that you're not buying anything off of Amazon, that whatever you have spent on groceries and the bills is it and there are no extras. It's a little bit harder uh, than you would think it might be. It's 
harder even still when you're on the go. And so it's probably easier right now. So if you get in the habit of saying, you know, Monday is my spending fast day, or this week is my spending fast week, um, that you're not spending those extra dollars. And the last thing is paying down debt. So we talked about that the other day too. So you can go back and check that video out. But paying down debt will really help you take control of your finances because you will have more money every um, every paycheck if you don't owe money to creditors. So those are some ways to really take control of your finances now. The paying down debt one, it's probably the only one that is going to take some time and some effort. The rest of it um, are things that you can initiate today or tomorrow that will really help you take control of your finances right now. So have a great week. We will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.